Fora TV. Idea Immersion. Visit us at www.fora.tv. We kind of wrote 50 ways to save the ocean because a lot of people that we'd meet would have this reaction. They say, you know, you're talking about the collapse of marine wildlife or, you know, um, climate change. You know, how can I respond? I've, I've got a life to live. I'm working at a job or two jobs. I have a family to raise. And what impact can I have? And, and the answer, of course, is that we're all having impact on the ocean in the choices we make every day. It's just to become conscious of those choices. And... Uh, to make the, the right ones, the ones that help the ocean. And not surprisingly, when you help the ocean, you find out it tends to help yourself, your health, your, your pocketbook. Um, we have simple things. You know, number one is go to the beach. Pack out everything you pack in. Um, and bring a litter bag and take all the plastic away that you find. You know, we threw out a billion of these every year, a billion plastic bottles. And the questions, you know, why are we drinking out of them? Why aren't, you know, we just had our, our book launch in New York. We had big ice pitchers full of New York tap water, the champagne of tap water. Because that's what we should all be demanding. I mean, and, you know, we have a shipping system that's so massive and burning bunker fuel, which is the dregs of the petroleum process, it's so cheap um, that we're importing bottled water from France and Italy and Fiji. Instead of demanding that, that the water that comes from our tap be clean and potable. In New York, they had a crisis about 10 years ago. The, the water quality was, you know, which they had a rightful historical pride in was declining. And the EPA was saying they may have to invest $6 billion in, in water treatment plants. Instead, they invested $2 billion in the watershed. They went to the Catskills and they bought up additional land so there wasn't development that was running off into the watershed. And they, they worked with farmers to reduce illness in, in the raising of cattle and other uh, domestic animals. And they they invested in keeping these natural systems, the ecosystem services of, of this mountain range where the reservoirs are. And today, water quality has improved again, and it costs $2 billion to protect what we already have, the natural ecosystem, rather than $6 billion for water treatment plants, which nobody goes and picnics at water treatment plants anyway, and there's not a lot of biodiversity there in the, in the you know, boilers. So... Uh, so, you know, we have these practical solutions, and uh, as I say, the thing is to engage a public. We get so much out of the ocean in terms of what I, what I said, in terms of recreation, transportation, trade, medicine, all these things. I think people really want to give something back, and I think it's, it's letting people know what they do and how, you know, how they do it. Uh, you know, fishing for uh, fun in the future. I just met with uh, a woman who runs a, a fishing camp for kids. She works with the International Game Fish Association. She's teaching kids. She's saying, you know, their logo is uh, um, don't catch your, your limit, limit your catch. Just because you're allowed to take six fish, if you're just going to eat one, then just take one. Put the others back, you know, learn catch and release. Keep your hands wet, you know, keep the fish in the water. Use barbless hooks, you know, um, use less plastic. You know, take take the cloth bag to the grocery. Uh.